and you were in fantastic form. Seven goals in eight games in the Championship Player of the Month for February. It's been going extremely well for you at Birmingham. Yeah, it's um, it's gone really well. Yeah, um, but like I always, I always thought to myself I could do it. Well, I know I can do it. It's just about getting regular games, and I've not had that for two, three years now. So it's been tough. Um, but I got off to a good start, and it, it seemed to go from there. And um, you know, personally, I've done well. You know, as a team, we probably could have done better. You know, we had an unbeaten run, but I don't think we moved in the table once. But um, I think personally. Yeah, as you know, what what's happened's happened, and it's put a stop to it. But hopefully, we can get back, and I can carry on from where I left off. Hopefully, and Scott, because it's gone so well for you at Birmingham, would you be keen to extend your stay at the Blues? Look, it's not. Um, it's totally out of my hands. You know, there's. I think there's clauses in my contract with Villa and things like that that stipulate what can happen, and and with what's gone on at the moment, you know, I've, I've sort of. You know, I've had calls with my agent about things and, you know, we've both come to the agreement like, you know, this we need to get this stuff out of the way um, and then hopefully finish the season. You know, and then I've, I've said, look, I want to, because of the pandemic or whatever, we've not been able to get out of the house, you know. We probably won't be able to, but I've just literally done, I'll switch off. Um, it's stressful in the house and doing whatever, it, it can be stressful. and I, I just want to switch off and not have to worry or, hope to get back to football so I haven't really thought about anything like that and at the moment it's not in my hands and um, because obviously I've got another year left at Villa you know there's I've made friends there and they've made me feel at home so if if it comes around then I, you know I'll be happy to do it if, if it comes about. And did you get much stick of the Villa players or the Villa fans for uh, moving over to the Blues? You know it wasn't um it wasn't too bad you know I, I, the only thing I use is Twitter really and um my agent does it with me. You sort of cold runs it, and um, he, he turned off the mentions <laughs> unless you think. So I didn't see nothing, which is quite clever. Um, but no, it's been quite good, and there's people at Villa and friends, and you know it's not been as too bad at all. And obviously the Blues fans have welcomed me quite well, so it hasn't been too bad. But like I say, I had turned my mentions off on Twitter, so I don't know how bad it did get. <laughs> In terms of you, Scott, growing up, um, obviously wanting to be a striker, who was who was a striker that you looked up to as a kid and who was your role model when you looked at strikers when you wanted to become a footballer? I think it's, it's a strange one because my first footballing memory is Eric Cantona from United. Um, my dad used to take me because we, we didn't live too far from Old Trafford, you see. Um, so me, but he's a total type, different player that I'll ever be. You know, he's a maverick. He was incredible. But you know, I used to enjoy watching him. But I think the one player who just like you know made me sit up and say wow every time was um, the original Ronaldo. I think he's the greatest striker um, this game's ever seen. And obviously injuries did what it did to him. But I think when you look at him in his early days on videos, and I still watch him now because I think it, there's not never been anyone better than him. Um, at what he does as a number nine.